if you really loved her, you'd kiss her. <sighs> That's okay, baby. You don't have to kiss me. I mean, you know I love... I love you, too. He co-starred with Ryan in the hit TV series, Two Guys, a Girl, and a Pizza Place. Here's fellow Canadian, Nathan Fillion. I see the question. Thank you, thank you. Um, sorry, I am, I am so very nervous right now. I am, I'm just looking out at all these incredibly uh, talented, wonderful people here in the crowd tonight. I would love to just um, take a quick second just to point out some of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, this was, this happened very, uh, I, this, I didn't know I was going to be here tonight, uh, apparently uh, Hugh Jackman canceled last minute, so I did find out though just now backstage I was first choice for second choice. Uh, they didn't give me a lot of time to prepare anything unfortunately, but luckily enough I do uh, pre-write eulogies for all my friends, just in case of an emergency. Loving, caring, charitable, talented, charming, and kind. These are qualities of a man who is easily honored. But tonight we're honoring Ryan Reynolds. Many years ago, a young boy in Canada dreamed of entertaining millions. He set his sights on the United States, and with raw talent and sheer willpower, he made those dreams come true. <laughs> and that boy was Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Years later, but in a much less impactful way, <laughs> Ryan did the same thing, and he drew much of his inspiration from Mr. Fox, as well as other comedy legends like Eugene Levy, Martin Short, John Candy, Jim Carrey, and <laughs> uh, I'm sure probably some American guys too. It is, it is impressive, to say the least, uh, when considering what Ryan has accomplished in his career and the effect he's had on our, our very culture. With, uh, with films like Safe House, Ryan showed us he could contend with acting greats like Denzel Washington. In Red Notice with The Rock and Gal Gadot, he showed us he's not afraid to be the <laughs> second sexiest person on screen. <laughs> so sorry, Gal, so close. With Deadpool, he got a generation of tweens grounded for swearing in new and exciting ways. <laughs> and with the Green Lantern, he taught a nation how to <laughs> laugh. I'm, and, I'm, I'm just, Ryan's side note here, I'm just thinking about it right now. It's like our careers are almost identical. <laughs> I just, if you think about it, except for the the gin company, and uh, the phone company, and the soccer team, and the blockbuster movies, and the charitable endeavors, and the nationwide, worldwide recognition, uh, the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and I'm thinking like a million and a half crunches. But other than that, like looking into a career mirror. Uh, Ryan and I did work together so very long ago, and I remember very clearly the, the only time he ever asked me for career advice, and I said, Ryan, Never, ever get romantically involved with someone you work with. It will never work out, and it can only end in flames. I see Blake Lively's here with us tonight. But really, though, Blake, you, you, do, you look absolutely radiant, and I have to say, I am such a huge, huge fan of your sister. 
Now, it is very true, Ryan has experienced incredible success, success that is not simply the result of his talents, but rather it's his ability to create opportunities and then make the most of those opportunities. He is methodical at giving his projects his best, at developing <laughs> trust and nurturing relationships with those he works with, constantly learning and always remembering to give back. It is apparent that Ryan's life is an embarrassment of blessings. And I, for one, genuinely hope he continues to embarrass himself for years to come. <laughs> Ryan, I, I am very, very grateful to be here, to, to be, uh, I consider myself fortunate to be witness to your brilliant journey. Uh, honestly, my friend, well-deserved. Now, they told me to segue into an introduction to some of your earlier work. I, I said no. I go by lip shit. You want to dance? Dance? I love to boogie. Oh, Todd all. That was beautiful, man. What is that anyway? Well, it is yoga. How does it work? There are different positions called asanas. Some easier and many harder. Why do you do it? Why do you play basketball? It's the most beautiful sound in the world. They are not so very different, basketball and yoga. Howard. Howard. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I was just gonna grab a snack. I guess that's what you're doing too. I'll be in my room. You and me, right now. Let's get on a train. Oh. Well. What? You still got that A-list boyfriend of yours? No, I don't. But I'm supposed to meet my friends in a half an hour. They're waiting for me. Oh, I forgot. You do everything by committee, right? And I'm going to go check out the squash. Ah! Ow, ow, ow. What's oh. there? Something's in my ass. Ow. Am I bleeding? You're fine. Oh, figures that the pain in my ass is Nixon, the fascist. He's your dad's boss. My dad's an arms manufacturer. Aren't you Haldeman's son? No, that's Brad. I'm his roommate at school. He's at the dermatologist. So you don't remember? I remember it like it was yesterday. That's funny. Because we never met. What? I just saw you on the street and thought you were cute. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> You're hot. And I'm high on believing. Well, that was funny. Thank you guys for watching me react to that. I have been the head king here at the Morning Worship Kingdom. This music kind of an improv moment video reaction. I wanted to do it. I heard Ryan Reynolds and Nathan Fabian were on a video together, and I had to tape it. I, I had to. Please click like and subscribe, follow us on our channel, you can find me on Fellowship of Geek Women of Team Minutes with my partner in crime, Don, and all friends, Joe, and yeah, follow us, and happy holidays, I'm in the head geek.
Nej, nej.